this is a 1000 watt inverter i already opened the mosfet uh, now i am going to show you what is the problem now i am going to check the mosfet i am going to check look this one is short ready spoiled this one also short not good spoiled also spoiled also four mosfet are bad spoiled ready burned ready this is the output mosfet this this one all bad this one bad this one bad this one okay only one is okay only one this is 50d the block 4 or 50d for output and and the silver color one input now i am going to check the uh, circuit i switch on the power of the 12 voltage i get the 12 voltage i am going to switching i already connected with the battery uh, i am switching now i want to check this is first positive and this is negative 13 voltages the source source voltage is 13 okay and the gate will be half 8 7 or 8 13 uh, gate 7 or 8 source will be full voltage to 13 and gate will be half 7 or 8 source 13 gate 8 voltage that means the circuit is working this input section is okay the gate voltage is half that that means this input section is okay now i am going to check the output section uh here two pair transistor mosfet 12 this one 12 that means this cell is okay here is uh 0 0.01 this one is okay that means uh outside uh, out output has four MOS mosfet 2 and 2 if two, uh, 2 are 12 and another 2 are 0, 0 that means that's also okay now need to change uh, the uh, the mosfet for input i am going to change look this is okay this is okay this is okay and this is okay I am going to use this for MOSFET in the input section. 4 are in channel MOSFET. 4 are in channel MOSFET. Now need to solder. I am going to solder the MOSFET this is source 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 drain gate middle is the drain this is the source and this is the gate middle is the drain this is the gate gate this is the drain this is the source gate drain this is the source the source will get the full voltage and gate will get the half voltage 7 or 8 and drain there will be no voltage okay now now need to clean i am cleaning need to clean nicely otherwise if they are have any shortage then the 
mosquito burn okay now this is output mosquito this four are output mosquito 50d 50d this is high voltage bus mosquito high voltage minimum 300 volt minimum now normally 50d can take 500 volt voltage like that this four are okay this four are okay i am going to use this four this is also n channel mosfet both are n channel mosfet but output mosfet can take the high voltage 500 voltage can take this is 50d now need to solder with the circuit need to solder preparing and soldering this output mosfet this output mosfet makes a dc voltage to ac we are in the uh, capacitor got 350 voltage that 350 voltage is dc and this four mosfet makes that dc to ac Here always use a good quality of MOSFET because this MOSFET uh, takes the load. If you use uh, a lower MOSFET, then the MOSFET will burn again. Here always use uh, best quality of MOSFET, but higher voltage first will be minimum 50 voltage, 500 voltage MOSFET. Need to clean. I am cleaning. the thinner I am cleaning with the thinner you also can use thinner or petrol to clean now looks it's okay every side everywhere is okay now need to check this is input MOSFET I am soldering from the this side also because this is two side print. The circuit has two side print. For this case, I always have to check this side also solder or not. Divide is okay. Now need to check and so check power ready and switching now let's go to check the voltage first here is the voltage sorry it's cannot can't show can't show now it's 229 voltage that means AC voltage coming ready the circuit is okay now the inverter is working I am checking the bulb okay it's working 
I, I don't use long time because there is no heat sink in the MOSFET. Okay, now need to fix with the body because the MOSFET will, will be hot for this case. Um, I have not uh, using this bulb for a long time. Need to use heat sink first. This body is also a heat sink. Always use a thermal paste and the separator. This thermal paste and separator makes uh, help help the MOSFET to be cool. They help the MOSFET to be cool. Now I am fixing with this body. Sorry, first time I forget to make video when I opened it. After after opening the MOSFET, I remember I remember that need to make a video. Before first time I do, I don't make any video. I am using the thermal paste. This is the thermal paste. This thermal paste helps to be cool the MOSFET. Helps the MOSFET to be cool. This is the diode. This two are diode for the C section. This is the MOSFET for the uh, for the SMPS. Now I'm using this uh, separator. <coughs> the output section has no separator before. Uh, had no separator, but now I'm using the separator. It will be good for the MOSFET. If there has uh, have any any gap, the so the separator will uh, will fill the, that gap. Separator and the um, and the thermal paste will fill the gap. For this case, I'm using the separator both side. The company uh, don't use the separator in this output section because this section got the plastic body MOSFET. For this case, they don't use. But input section got the metal body MOSFET. For this case, they use the separator. But I am using both sides. Need to make tight. Okay. This inverter uh, can make uh, 500 watt maximum, but company written down there, write down there 100, 1000 watt, but that's false. Only we can use uh, three fan, three fan and four five light. Don't use more, more, more fan. Use maximum three fan. Maximum two fan is the good. This and this separator for the diode because the diode is the metal body one. Uh, one diode for the positive and another diode for the negative. For this case, we have to use the separator. This is the bolt. This is the clip. I need the tweezer to take. Okay, there is no place to use the finger for this case. It's no problem. Need to make sure it's tight. Now almost ready. Now I am going to check again with the heat sin. Now I am going to connect with the battery. This is the positive voltage. I'm using the Good battery, good down battery. Before I use all the small batteries. Now I am using good battery. This is 7 ampere battery. Before I use 2 ampere battery. Now look, it's it's working. It's working. 
thanks for watching my video